Hi, my name is Shabas. In this video, I will be showing you how to do partial deployment using Urban Code Deploy. So let me just open my Urban Code Deploy application. So Urban Code Deploy is nothing but a deployment automation tool that you use in your DevOps pipeline. So for our demo purpose, I have created a component called Blanket Component and I have a version as well created inside my component. So inside my Blanket Component, I created a version called Test01 V1. You can see here I have a version with 14 members among seven data sets. So these are all my data sets that I want to deploy to my target environment. If I expand all, you can able to see the members as well. Now, what is partial deployment? So partial deployment is nothing but like we can able to deploy only some set of containers at a time. For example, I can deploy only DBRNs first. Then soon after the deployment of DBRNs, I can run some bind jobs. And once my bind jobs run successfully, I can run the remaining containers. So let's see a sample design. So I have created a sample component process here. The first step in this process design, you can see the same download artifact step for our UAS version. Once that is done, I have a deploy data set step. Now this is the same step that you, that you are already familiar with, like all the inputs are same, but you might see a new input here, which we introduced, which is container filter. If I open this container filter, you can see a Java regular expression here which says to just select only the containers which are ending with DBRM. So either you can give a Java regular expression or you can give the exact value. For example, I can just select this DBRM, this data set name and go. So I can do either of these. So let me just go with the regular expression. So I will just give DBRM here and I just say, and the rest of the options like checkboxes and the inputs, other inputs are the same. You don't have to change anything here. So once the DBRM deploy data set step runs fine, then I just generate the artifact information here. So this one will this artifact step will give me my bind card that are being deployed from this DBRM step. So I will get the bind card and run a bind job. So if my bind job runs successfully, then only I'm going to deploy the data sets, other data sets. If my bind job fails, I'm, I'm just skipping to deploy the remaining data sets, so which will save me time. So let's see the successful scenario. If my bind job runs fine, I'm going to the deploy data set others. So how we can able to deploy the remaining data sets? If I open this one, it's again the same set of inputs. Only change will be the container filter. So if I open this container filter, you have a, a Java regular expression again, it says dot star, which means to select everything. Now you might ask a question like, if I give star, doesn't it again redeploy my DBRMs? No, it won't deploy the DBRMs. So when, I give, when you give star or when you try to give a filter, which has already been deployed, it will just simply skip and it will just deploy the remaining, which are not deployed. So in our case, DBRM will be skipped and the remaining containers will be deployed. So once that is done, we have another step called new copy resources, which will just uh, do a new copy of all my Kix programs once that is done. So this is important. We have a property called remaining data sets that will come out uh, at every deploy data set step. For example, in this deploy data set step, we'll get remaining data sets value as six because out of my seven data sets here, out of my seven data sets, I'm just deploying my DBRM. So totally six are remaining. So similarly, if I deploy after execution of my data set other step, I will be getting zero remaining data sets. So this is simply checking off that particular value or to property. If it is zero, that means all the all my containers in my version are deployed. I'm good to go. I'm just going to finish. If there are any remaining data sets, uh, I, I have set it as failure because I might have missed some containers. So I will just do analysis and check which one is missed. So let me just save this. Let's just run a sample application with this design. So I have, cre I have created an application and created an environment here. UAT, let me just run this process. 
let me select the partial deployment process next let me uncheck this one for our demo purpose i have to add a version this v1 then once it is done next next and then submit the format perfect and all you should be able to see this partial deployment one process being run here so this is the same process that we discussed just just now so this is the partial deployment one process now if you can see in the partial deployment process logs here the first step is download artifact step which will just download all my um, version artifacts like all the seven data sets once that is done i'm just going to deploy data set step but for only dbrms deployment let's see the how the log looks like so if you can see here and scroll down to deploy data set subhead you can see only deploying members to dbrm here and because we just specified the filter to just select only dbrm so we just deploy the dbrms so after that you can see a summary as well here this is something that we added newly so in the summary you can able to see what are the data sets that are that have been processed till now so i have processed only dbrm here and what are the data sets remaining to be deployed which are this all the six data sets so we must be able to see all the six data sets being deployed in our other step so let's see so soon after my deployment data set step run fine i'm just running my artifact in generate artifact step and it will give me bind card using that bind card i'm just running my bind job and if my dbrm looks good then i'm going to deploying the data sets other data sets let's see how it looks like so in deploy data set other step we can see deploying members to cobol gcl load another load copybook and bms as you can see here there is no dbrm here since the dbrm dbrms are already been deployed we just skip that one now again if you come to the partial deployment summary you can see data sets processed we have all the seven data set names here including dbrm because it it will have the list of all the process data sets and in data set remaining we are having zero because we are good to go so once that is done we we can check the output property as well for example if i go here in input output properties and navigate to output properties you can see the output property called remaining data sets which is having value 6 because out of 7 data sets we have just deployed dbrm so 6 are remaining similarly you can see see the same output property in deployed data set other step as well so i'm just going into output properties so this is zero since all the data sets got deployed the same thing we are checking it in this step here after this kicks copy kicks new copy after this kicks new copy we are just checking whether my remaining data set is equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 i am just finishing and if this step is not equal to 0 i i might set failure because some of the containers might not have been deployed and i want to make sure like all my containers are deployed so this is about partial deployment so thanks for watching bye